Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do an Aquarius Love Prediction reading for October 24th through October 31st. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know that this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If my reading resonates with you or if you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I will be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decide to do that. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my eccentric, loving, kind, sweet Aquarius. Show me, spirit guys. What's going on, my Aquarius spirit guys? Show me, spirit guys. What's going on, my Aquarius? Aquarius is aquas. What you got going on? Let's see. King of Cups. Queen of Swords. Three of Swords. The Strength card. And the Judgment card. <laughs> Aquas, Aquarius is. You got a whole bunch. I mean, I'm talking about a lot of emotion for someone. This is a lot of emotion that you got in your heart for someone. Someone that you can't get off your mind. Someone that's always around you. You've got a lot of emotion for this person. But you know what? This person is a straight A bitch. I'm just going to tell you straight. Um, excuse me. Uh, hopefully I'm getting trouble on YouTube. But the Queen of Swords. Here's the King of Cups. The King of Cups is a lot of emotion. And you show your emotions. But you only show your emotions. It's inward. They don't really know that you love them like you love them. They don't understand that you want to take care of them. They don't understand that, but they are a straight B.I.H. You know what they say about men, and I'm going to be very honest with you. If this is a man, men all, they always say that men love the bitches even more. And there's something about this itch that you really, really love. Something about this female that comes to you that you really, really love. You don't understand. You don't understand why you can't leave this person alone. But there is something about this itch that you really, really love. If you are this woman, you know exactly what you're doing. You know how to control this man. You, uh, 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 The Queen of Swords is a very direct energy. Can be um, very much not a compromising energy. It's a yes or no energy. And they're demand. They're very demanding. The Queen of Swords is my itch. She can be very demanding. But something about this person that makes you just, I mean, you just lose it when you're around them because you have so much emotion with this King of Cups. There's so much in your heart for this Queen of Swords, but they don't know it. Now, here's the deal. The Three of Swords is at the middle of your reading. Now, the thing is, Three of Swords is heartache. They bring you heartache. You know, but, you know, it's almost like you're, you're a glutton for punishment. They bring you heartache, but you keep going back to them. No matter what you do, you can't leave them alone. They are the three of swords. Three of swords is heartache, pain. That I mean, I just feel the pain in your heart for this person. Because you know what? They're not, they don't give a flip. They care about you, but whatever. They can take it or leave it. That's what turns you on, Aquarius. Because it's a lot like you. You know, you're pretty much an aloof sign when it comes to that you can take it or leave it but this person is kind of like your match they've given you exactly what you are they give you back exactly what you are and you're heartbroken but you're heartbroken because of the fact that they don't acquiesce to you they don't bow down to you and you know you don't know what you're going to do but you know that you are in love with this person because here's the strength card here and the strength card can be a leo person but the strength card is all about um, um, can't be anyone. Remember, this is a general read, but the strength card is all about getting someone to understand. You can't get them to understand that you love them like you do. There is something that you, they don't get it. And you're trying desperately to get them to understand that you have all this emotion for them. But you know what? They are a straight itch. I'm just being very honest. Straight itch. And until you, sh they don't care. They don't, they hear you, but it's like, wah, 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 whatever. They're going to get what they want. The Queen of Swords gets what they want They want as well. The Queen of Swords is direct. 
They get what they want. And here's his strength card. And the strength card is all about you trying to get them to understand that you totally you love them. That you wanna be that you, you wanna bring them in because you want them to only be about you, but they you know, they're kinda of like taking you with a grain of salt. I mean they're kinda of taking you like, oh well, whatever. It is what it is. But here's his judgment card here. And my judgment card is, is that no matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, no matter how to, matter what you tell them, that you're going to leave them alone, that you're going to walk away, even if you tell them in your head, you don't even tell them, but you say in your head, you're going to walk away. But guess what? You can't. Here you are. You talk a big talk, but here you are coming right back to them. There's something about this love that makes you come right on back to them. They can, they treat you. They don't even treat you right. They don't even treat you right. But it's all kind of your fault too, Aquarius, because you don't show them that you love them. You don't show the love that you have for them. But like I said, here's this judgment card here. This judgment card. And the judgment card is all about you. You know. You know that you know that you know that you cannot walk from this person. This person is in your love space. This person is who you love. Even though they hurt your feelings, they don't care. You can say whatever you want. You still come back to them no matter what. Now, if this is your read, please sit back, relax, and let me clarify the cards for you. Because I want to see what the spirit guides that want to tell us about this relationship. Please let me clarify the cards. If this is your read, sit back, relax. Let me clarify the cards for you. Let me see. Why is this King of Cups here? Show me, spirit guides. Why is the King of Cups here for my Aquarius? Show me. Oh, you have the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you're all in your fields, aren't you? Four of Pentacles is all in your fields. You know, you know, the reason I say this is because the Four of Pentacles is all about you want this person and you want them to want you, and you're very possessive of them. You're very, very possessive of this person. There is someone that you're very possessive of. You try to play it off, but honey, you are very possessive of this energy, of this person that's in your love space. You are very possessive. So let's see why the Queen of Swords is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Show me. Oh, you have the Three of Wands. The Queen of Swords really doesn't give a flip. I mean, you know, they care, but they're going to go on and do their thing because the Three of Wands means having a good time. The Queen, of, the Queen of Swords doesn't care. They know. I almost think that this person knows what they do to you. They know what they do to you, but they still have their own good time. They're not worried about that. They're going to have their good time. They're going to enjoy their life. They don't care. They do not care. They care, but they don't care. They, they, you know, it's all about them. The Queen of Swords can be all about them, all about whomever this is. This is someone that's all about them. They hear you. They see you, but you don't show it. If you don't show it, they don't know. So they figure, oh, well, I'll keep doing what I'm doing. I'll keep doing what I'm doing. They keep having a good time, enjoying life out there doing the thing dipping and doing it so let's see why is this three of swords here show me spirit guides oh you have the seven of pentacles yeah because here's what's happening with that three of swords yeah you should learn your lesson right you should learn your lesson the three of the seven of pentacles is all about you growing it's all about planting the seeds and you learning you're learning your lesson with this three of swords they've hurt you so this has taught you something right Maybe it's taught you that you don't, you need to show your emotions or you need to tell somebody. You need to let them know. It's not just about your having these emotions pent up. You can be somewhat aloof here too, but you need to show them and tell them and maybe they'll do something different because right now you're in the middle of heartache. The seven of pentacles means that this is showing you, you are having growth here because this heartache is showing you what you need to do. So let's see why the strength card is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is the strength card here? Show me, spirit guys. Oh, I have the seven of pentacles. The seven of pentacles. I'm sorry, you have the six of pentacles there. And the six of pentacles, and here's the seven of pentacles. I do apologize. With well, this three of swords, this three of swords is saying your heartache. There's heartache. But here's the six of pentacles because there's heartache because you keep giving this person not getting back in return. That's what you want, a very giving and loving relationship. But here's the Seven of Pentacles here over this Strength card. Strength card, like I said, can't be a Leo person, can't be anyone. But the Strength card means that you are, you want to tame this person. You want to bring them in. You want to, they may be a little wild. You want to calm them down. Because guess what? They're not all about you. They're out there. They're doing their thing. But here's the Seven of Pentacles, which means that there's growth that's going on here. 
um, that you're understanding. I think that what this is saying, into my intuition is saying that this is saying that you can't make someone do something that if they're not ready to do it. Because the Seven of Pentacles is all about growth, but it takes time. You can't you can't make them be this strength card. When the strength card, what I'm saying, you can't tie them down. You can't make them want to be with you only. It's all about them. It takes time. It's growth. It takes time. Just because you want it doesn't mean that you get it. So let's see why this judgment card is here. You keep saying you're going to walk away from this person. Let's see, Spirit guys, Show me why the strength card, the judgment card here. I'm sorry. And here I have the seven of wands. <laughs> Perfect. Because what the spirit guys are saying, you keep talking big game. Big game, but you're always defending why this person, you, you know, you keep saying I'm going to walk away, but you're not. You love this person. You're not. This person turns you on. You love this person. You're not walking away from this person. No matter what, you're going to stay with them. The judgment card is an awareness card, but it's also a reunion card. No matter when you leave them, you come back to them. There is not, there is just a love there that cannot, you're not, you, you know, and you're always trying to defend your emotions. Well, they said this. Well, they said that. Well, whatever. But no, you keep walking with them. You keep being with them. You're not leaving them. You're not leaving them. So let's start at the very beginning. This is the King of Cups. You don't show your emotions. You can be aloof. You can, they don't really know. You can be sometimes emotionally unavailable. But here is this Four of Pentacles. But you are very possessive of this person. You are very possessive of them. They don't know that though. But they don't know that. And here's the Queen of Swords, which is my itch card. Straight up bitch. She doesn't give a crap. She just does what she does. You know, she has a good time with this Three of Wands. She enjoys life because if you don't want to act right, guess what? She'll find some more people that do. Here's the Three of Swords, your heart, this heartbreak. But here's the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles is all about balance. It's about balance. All about balance. You want a balanced relationship, but you haven't had that. Because this relationship has been all about you. All about you. What all you have done here is that you have give, give, given, and there's nothing been nothing in return. You want here with the strength card. You want everybody to be on the same page. You want to bring them in. But here's what the seven of pentacles is saying. You can't you can drop all these little nuggets. You can say whatever you want. But until people are ready, they're not going to come. They're not going to come. They're not going to change. People are not going to change. They have to change. You can't change them. Here's a judgment card where you keep saying, I'm going to leave them alone. But guess what? You're not. Because here's the seven of wands. You are actually defending your position. Why are you with them? You are defending this. So let's see what my angel oracle say. You defend this relationship. Let's see. What do my angel oracle say? Well, let's see. Well, they say in the near future, and they say in the near future, this is going to be all right. So, do what you do, because aquas, this is a love that you can't walk away from it. Do what you do. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Aquarius.